The third element in the foundation of project management is the role of the project manager. We ask the question, what is a project manager? In this presentation, we'll talk about how the role of the project manager is covered in the PMP exam content outline. We'll give a definition of this role and understand the project manager's place across all the spheres of influence. In the PMP examination content outline, understanding the role of the project manager is an essential foundation. On the exam, the role of the project manager is not assigned to a target percentage of questions nor to specific tasks and skills. The role is embedded within cross-cutting knowledge and skills relevant to all domains. You will definitely have to understand how PMI defines the role of a project manager. This could make the difference between the right and wrong answer for an exam question. Some of the questions will directly address the role of the project manager. Others will include this information indirectly or implicitly. And some tasks and skills under the domains will refer to the definition of the project manager role. What is a project manager? Here is the PMI definition in the PMBOK. The project manager is the person signed by the performing organization to lead the team that is responsible for achieving the project objectives. We could also define a project manager by what they are not. They are not an operations manager who is responsible for a specific business unit and area of operations. They are not a functional manager responsible for a functional or support unit. However, if the project manager is working in a functional or matrix organization, they may wear two hats both as a functional manager and as a project manager. The role of project manager requires a certain combination of skills, knowledge, experience, personality, and attitude. We've already said that project management is both a science and an art. Some project manager competencies can be defined objectively and measured. This is the science dimension. But other aptitudes are subjective and more intangible. This is the art dimension. Whether you are a natural born project manager or you have project management thrust upon you, you can always learn how to be a project manager and how to be a better project manager. In fact, professional development is built into the role of a project manager. When does the project manager get involved in the project? So there are many possibilities. Normally, the participation is defined as from initiating to closing. This is end-to-end -end involvement of the project manager. The project manager could be involved at the very origination of the project concept. They could also 
assist during the early evaluation and analysis of the project idea relative to strategic planning. The project manager could participate in the development of the business case. The project manager can create the project charter. In the PMI framework, this is the ideal point for the project manager to become involved. Another option is after the project charter is signed at the start of planning processes. But the project manager could be assigned to a project at any point in time. For example, if there's a need for reassignment or replacement of the project manager. The role of the project manager can also continue beyond the end of the project so that they assist with transitional or follow-up activities. For a long time, I've liked to describe the role of the project manager as being like the conductor of an orchestra. And now I find that this is the same analogy that the PMBOK uses. So let's explain why this is true. The project manager is both the leader and a member of the team. They need to have a holistic view of the project. They're involved in planning and interpreting the project. They need to provide motivation and inspiration to the other members, and this depends on their communication skills. They have to know how to collaborate with many different specialists, even those who have more authority and visibility. For example, in the orchestra, you might have soloists who are more of a celebrity than the conductor. So the project manager may be working with team members who have more of a reputation or more power or influence than the project manager. The role of the project manager is to hold everything together. The project manager offer, operates within spheres of influence. One level of influence is the project itself. Here, the project manager is the liaison with other stakeholders, including the sponsor and team members. So the project manager needs to balance out all of the different viewpoints and all of the different constraints on the project. In this role, soft skills are really critical, such as communication skills, interpersonal skills, the ability to handle conflict and build consensus. The project manager needs to provide consistency within the project based on their communication and management techniques. The project manager will coordinate the interactions between the team and other stakeholders. One of the most important skills is communicating both positive and negative information. A good project manager knows how and when to share bad news. This helps take a proactive approach to problem solving. The project manager also needs to maintain both formal and informal networks. Within the organization as a whole, the project manager is the advocate for the project. Each project manager needs to have a good rapport with other project managers, whether they're in the same program or working on completely separate projects. The project manager also needs to establish partnerships with functional managers 
and subject matter experts in the organization. This also means relationships with managers in different departments and executives at different levels. So the project manager must be able to manage upward and downward as well as across peer to peer. The project manager is the point of contact between the project and organization on the one hand and external stakeholders such as customers and vendors. It's the project manager's responsibility to safeguard resources, both human and physical, for the project. But at the same time, the project manager needs to keep open collaborations with the stakeholders and especially with the sponsor. So the, the project manager is a champion, not only of the project, but for the value of project management as a discipline. Within the industry, the project manager needs to keep up to date with all the trends. This new information could influence the application of the project management processes. So the project manager needs to understand the product and the related technology, the marketplace factors and economic factors. Project managers need to understand the technical tools and resources that are available both for the deliverables and for the practice of project management. Just as professional development is important to the project manager, process improvement is important within the project, organization, and industry. Another value promoted by PMI now is sustainability, that is environmental awareness in the project environment. Finally, the project manager is going to look at the industry standards and maintain them related to the practice of project management as well as quality and security issues. Professional discipline means the respect for project management as a specialization. Professional development continues throughout the career of a project manager. I will just remind you that receiving your PMP certification is just the beginning of a long journey where you must continue to earn PDUs to maintain your certification. The career development involves project management knowledge as well as related disciplines and other subject matter expertise. Not only does the project manager learn and absorb information, but the project manager also has an obligation to give back to the profession and share their own knowledge with other project managers and other stakeholders. This could be done through recognizable and formal methods such as training, continuing education, and mentoring. It could be done in a variety of organizations such as businesses, also nonprofits like PMI and the PMI chapters or in educational settings like universities. It can happen at any level, local, national, or global. And it can involve knowledge transfer between project managers or 
extended to people outside the project management profession. In fact, PMI now views project management not only as a professional skill, but as a life skill. This diagram shows the overlapping spheres of influence, and it's kind of like one of those Russian nesting dolls, and the project manager is there at the very center. In this presentation, we talked about how the PMP exam handles the role of the project manager in the questions. We also defined the role of the project manager partly by looking at the sphere of influence.